Hey guys, it's your friend Mickey, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up focus mode and app limits on your iPhone so you can successfully execute your plans for world domination without any distractions. So let's get started. So first we're going to start with focus mode. This is perfect for when you still need to use your phone but you want to limit your access. So say that you are going to work out and you still want to use the stopwatch and the music apps but you don't want to see like any distracting emails or text messages that are going to take you out of the zone. So right now I'm not using any focus modes and as you can see I have red notifications all over my home screen. You can access focus mode through the control center or by going to your settings. So you just scroll down and click focus. And as you can see there's already some preset focus modes here. If you go to the plus sign you can create a custom focus mode or there's a lot of other presets to choose from. I'm going to just go ahead and edit a pre-existing focus mode. so. I'll pick the personal focus one. And this is pretty much it. You just choose what people and apps to allow notifications from when focus mode is on. So let's start with people. You can choose who to silence or allow. For me, it's easier to just pick a couple people to allow notifications from. People who would contact me during an emergency or an urgent matter. So for this video, I'm just going to add my parents. So first my mom. And then I'll add my dad, and he's there already. Now these are the only two contacts my phone will show notifications for. And now let's add some apps. I'll let my reminders app send me notifications because that's the whole point of that app. And I'll also add DoorDash because I usually order food when I'm working, and I definitely don't want to miss a notification when my food gets here. And that's it. That's a basic setup for focus mode. There are more features that I'll get to, but first let me show you how it looks when it's on. So here's personal focus, the one we just edited. Now it's on, and you can see that my lock screen is now dim. That's a feature you can turn on or off. I like to have it on because if not, I'll forget my focus mode is on and that could cause me problems. As you can see, those red notifications that were on my screen earlier are gone. I'll only see notifications for my parents, aka the people that I put on the list. Back to the advanced setup, these are features that I don't use, but maybe I will one day. You can customize a specific lock screen or home screens for your focus mode, maybe something that can help set the mood for studying or rest. You can also have your focus mode turn on automatically by setting a schedule. I do this with do not disturb mode. I like to have it on from like 10 p.m. to the morning. It really helps when I do witchcraft. I mean, get ready for bed. There's also focus filters. This helps you get even more specific by customizing apps. For example, you can customize your messages so that if you did open the messages app, you'd only see specific conversation threads. All the other messages won't be there. If you allow notifications from mail or calendars, you can use filters to only have specific email addresses or calendars active on your phone. So that's focus mode. If this was helpful at all, please give this video a like. And now let's move on to the iPhone feature that's changed my life, which is app limits. So this is what app limits looks like when it's working. As you can see here, I already reached my limit on Instagram. That's why it's all dimmed out like that and it has a little sand glass timer. And when I open it, there's this gatekeeper, basically. Now the thing about being locked out of an app is that you're not actually locked out. As you can see here, I can choose to ignore the limit or abide by it. The way I like to think of app limits, it's accountability. It's more like a nudge. Now let me show you what timing out of an app looks like. Let's ignore the limit right now and go on Instagram. Let's say that I'm scrolling on Anaïs Instagram because I just went to a RBD concert and I want to relive it. I'm reliving my experience. I am entranced by this profile right now and oop, I've been locked out of Instagram now because I've reached my limit. From here, I can choose to ignore the limit or I can press OK and that'll close the app. The setup for this is super easy, you guys. You just go back to your settings, go to screen time, app limits. As you can see, I already have some set up for YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Let's say I want to add another one. I go to add limit. Let's just do Facebook. And let's say I want to be on Facebook for Eh, five minutes. Who goes on Facebook anyway? And then that's it. All done. Super easy. Just like that. You don't even have to press save or nothing. See, if you go back, it's still there. Alright guys, that's it. You're basically an iPhone expert now. You know how to set up focus mode and app limits. 
You don't have to be accessible to everyone all the time. It's okay to take breaks and to unplug. On my channel, I give advice on wellness and how to live your best life. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, then subscribe and check out my videos. Thanks guys, be well.